Welcome to this APM quick tip. I've had a couple of people get really confused and quite frustrated about trying to get the firmware onto the APM boards. Now, a couple of months ago, we talked about the fact that the APM was no longer supported for Arducopter. And because of that, it meant that you had to run APM or Arducopter 3.2.1 and that was the last version that you could get onto the board. If you tried to flash anything after that, it simply wouldn't work. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can get that 3.2.1 onto the board. I'm just going to cover those quickly in this video for those of you that are getting a bit stuck. Now, if you go here to ardupilot.org slash copter slash doc slash common hyphen APM25 hyphen and hyphen 26 hyphen overview dot HTML, <gasps> I'll put that link in the description. You can see here that you can actually click and download the latest APM code from here. Or if you don't want to do it that way, there's another way too. So we've got here into Mission Planner. Here we are, we're connected to one of my older APMs, one of the first ones we used in the series. Still working fine, I haven't had to flash it. This is one of the later versions of Mission Planner interface. This is pretty current and it still works fine. If I connect to the APM, I can still configure it and it's still happy. Now here, of course, we can see that it's talking about 3.3.3. Uh, We're looking at some of the beta firmwares here, actually. But there are two options. If you download the firmware as a file, you can then click on here and say load custom firmware, and it'll ask you where that custom firmware actually is, and you point it at that file that you've downloaded. Or the other way you can do it is straight from here, you can tell Mission Planner that you want to load an old version of the code. So you can click on pick previous firmware. You can click on that and click the down arrow. Here's all the older software. So here's um, the numbers at the front are actually talking about the versions. For, so for example, we see you have things like AC is Ardu Copter, AR is Ardu Rover. So we're gonna want um, Ardu Copter 3.2, which is there, that's, 3.2.1 is the last version that was supported. So if I select that, it'll get that firmware list. And now I can flash Arducopter 3.2 quad hexa or whatever onto my APM board. So those are your two options really. Either come down here and say pick previous firmware and then you can pick the one you want and you're away. Or you can download the file from that website and load it as a custom firmware and just point to the file you've downloaded. Hopefully that helps those of you that are a bit stuck and getting frustrated. Sometimes the answer is quite straightforward. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like. Subscribe and happy flying.